Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The DRDO's project Aura is probably the most secretive aircraft project of the Indian government which is aimed to develop an unmanned stealth deep penetration strike bomber for Indian armed forces. It is being designed by Aeronautical Development Agency EDA in collaboration with IIT Kanpur. The project Aura kick started back in 2009 the government of india has approved rupees 12.5 crores to drdo for the feasibility study which was completed in the year 2013 it then took almost 3 years to sanction the fund for this project in 2018 rupees 300 crore was cleared by government of india for the aura program the project aura is to be developed in two phases in phase 1 a smaller version of ucav called swift stealth wing flying test bed will be developed in phase 2 actual ucav will be developed which will be known as ghatak talking about a specification the swift will weigh close to 1 ton and will be 4 meter long with a wing span of 5 meters initially it will be powered by npu saturn 36 mt engine it will be later to be replaced with indigenously developed manik engine which is also being tested with nirbhay cruise missile the reported range of swift will be 200 km with maximum flight altitude of 6 km and endurance of nearly 1 hour talking about ghatak not much has been revealed regarding its specifications from what we know it is going to be ucav with maximum takeoff weight of 15 to 16 Done. It will be powered by the dry version of the Kaveri engine, that is Kaveri engine without afterburner, which will be capable of generating maximum thrust of 45 kN. One of the most important characteristic of Aura UCAV will be stealth. As per DRDO, 70% of its stealth will be achieved due to the design, that is shape of UCAV. The remaining 30% stealth will be achieved by using radar absorbent material, radar absorbent coating and RF reduction techniques. The UCAV will have internal weapon bay. In fact, many of its features will be common to the MCA project being developed by DRDO. Its design is based on flying wing concept which is a tailless and undefined fuselage concept. Now let's talk about progress being made under this project. Last year, a small prototype of Swift was flight tested at Hosur near Bengaluru in collaboration with IISC. All flight controls were tested. Work on the first prototype started early this year. Wind tunnel testing of the first prototype is being done at IIT Kanpur. This year on June India has started ground level trials of the first assembled prototype of Swift. It has completed its taxi trials and is ready to take its first flight by end of 2021. During taxi trials on Swift recap it was tested for its sharp maneuvers and turns. During low medium and high speed taxi trial on Swift recap its performance and instrumentation was checked and studied at the time it increases its speed it is most probable that its first flight will be conducted before end of 2021 in which the wing configuration flying control and stealth features of ucav will be tested all these tests will be covered by many types of data such as control of flying wing configuration autonomous takeoff and landing technology retractable landing gear system flying wing design and low radar signature using all this data many more improvements will be done in it until and unless it achieves one such parameter which has kept in mind while designing ucam after all these successful tests it will be ready for development of ghatak ucam which will be made using this technology this was today's update Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic 
related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector